I once again welcome ninth class students in my sixth video lecture. Let me remind you, we are studying a chapter that is socialism in Europe and Russian Revolution. From the above discussed topics, the meaning of socialism is now clear to you. And when we talk of the previous lecture that was discussed by us, where we studied about the ideas of socialism by different socialists like Karl Marx. Other than Karl Marx, there are other socialists like Robert Owen. All these socialists explained that the conditions of workers could not improve as long as capitalism exists. What is the meaning of capitalism that is being already discussed by us? That means the conditions of workers could not improve under capitalism. And they also put forward that, that means socialists also put forward that workers had to overthrow the rule of capitalism and had to construct a radically socialist society. These were some of the ideas of some socialists. Now the topic to be discussed today, that is support for socialism. In this topic, we will go through a number of steps taken by socialists to gain support in the European continent. First of all, let's talk about the ideas of these socialists. When did they separate? So far as the ideas of socialism are concerned, they separate in 1870s. That means a decade from 1870 to 1880 when there was the wide separate, when the ideas of socialism were widely separate in the European continent. My dear students, to implement the methods of socialism, to coordinate the efforts, socialists took a number of steps to gain support. First of all, they formed an international body and named that international body as Second International. That means the first step taken by the socialists to gain support, it was that they formed an international body and the same international body was named as Second International. Now we will talk about the different countries. First of all, when, when we talk of the country of the Europe that is Germany, for the promotion of the ideas of socialism or the, the emergence of socialism, I can say, Socialist Democratic Party was found in Germany. I will recapture it for you. In Germany, a party was founded. That party is, is named as Socialist Democratic Party. The motive behind this party was to promote the ideas of socialism or to work for the emergence of socialism in the German in the German country. Right? Moving ahead, it was by 1905, one more party was found that is named as Labour Party and it was found in Britain. That means in the beginning decade, in the first decade of the 20th century, a party was found in Britain, that is Labour Party. Similarly, in France, one more party was found, that is Socialist Party. Right? By 1905, Labour Party was found in Britain and Socialist Party was found in France. These were some of the steps taken by these socialists to gain support in the European continent. My dear students, let me tell you, these parties, that is Labour Party, Socialist Party and Democratic Party, 
and Socialist Democratic Party, they fight for better living and working conditions. My dear students, till 1914, that is till First World War, these socialists and their parties, they never succeeded in forming a government in Europe. My dear students, the parties, that is the Labour Party, the Socialist Party and the Socialist Democratic Party, in the beginning years, that means till 1914, till First World War, they were not able to form government in the European continent, right? My dear students, the, the government was continuously run by liberals, radicals and conservatives, right? My dear students, that was the part first of this chapter that is socialism in Europe. Now we have to discuss the part chapter, uh, the part second of this chapter that is Russian Revolution. What was the economic, what were the economic, political conditions of Russia before this Russian Revolution? What were the causes of Russian Revolution? What were its consequences? And detailed information of will it will be given to you in the coming lectures. Hope you will stay connected. Thank you. Have a nice day.